So as you're approaching that gate, that gate is going to be um, built on, with the same Jene architecture style that the Larabanga Mosque is uh, constructed. The driver's going to turn around and open this, your safari vehicle door for you, and you're going to get out and walk through this amazing covered entranceway. Um, and I wanted every, every location in the property to have an amazing view. And all you're going to see as you're walking deeper and deeper into this entranceway is this view of the savanna just exposed and, and expanding. And you'll be in this... The park is 5,000 square kilometers. And you, you, you are at a high enough elevation that you can see across the top of the forest as far as the eye can see. One of the key features of our main lodge building is the infinity swimming pool. Um, the entire property is, is set up on along three decks that descend. So no matter where you are in the facility, you see this beautiful view of the savanna. It's a clear day and you have a 35 to 40 kilometer view to the north and the west of uh, Mole National Park. Um, and by the time you've, you've caught your breath, our barman is going to be there with a welcome drink that's made of local ingredients. Um, and then someone will have come to greet you. I think we'll blow most people away on arrival. This lodge is going to be a place in Ghana that, where people go to recharge recharge their empty batteries. Global tourism is, looking, is constantly looking for new destinations and, and Ghana is showing up in many, many reports as one of the next best destinations that, that people have never heard of. Mole National Park is the most important park in Ghana, one of the most important in West Africa, and it's the absolute go-to place to have the best elephant experience on the continent. The, the vision that we're trying to achieve here overall is to change the game of tourism in northern Ghana. Essentially what we want to try and accomplish here is show that you can have a profitable company that does good for its employees, does good for the environment, um, and does good for community and culture at the same time. And we want the communities around this park to feel strongly about Zena, about this hotel, this property. Um, and we want that when they see one of our vehicles go by, when they're you know, their, their employees who are involved with us. We, we want that goodwill, we want that relationship. We want them to feel that they, this is theirs. Probably the foundation of our philosophy of conservation is that conservation is not gonna happen unless there's an econ economic justification for it. Here everything is gonna be very, very casual, but every person will know what to do and how to do and when to do it. So that's going to be that, that good integration, which is gonna be seamless between the service that we want to give and the luxury that the guests will see. In Zena, the moment you come, everyone should let you feel welcome. I want staff all, be like ladies and gentlemen, serving ladies and gentlemen. My basic strength in the kitchen, as you say, my core is continental cooking. And what I always, you know, look forward to doing is wow the guests and the food comes and they're like, wow. Every room is a, a tent fixed onto a solid bathroom facility. You're gonna climb up the steps to the front deck and that's a three meter veranda under the thatch, open air. Slide your door open and you're gonna walk into the tent part of your room. And in there you've got your big bed and all your furniture around you. And you go around the back of the bed into the bathroom area. You can go out the back door and then there'll be an outdoor shower. So if you feel like having shower under the stars or whatever, then you can do that as well. Our core clientele is people in this country who are stressed, disconnected from nature, um, and need to, need to find their feet again. This is the kind of place that people are going to come to and they're going to they're gonna go back and they're going to tell everyone else, wow, that if you need a break, this is a place to go. There's just one place to go in Ghana. Go to Zena and Moli.